Hi, second graders. Today, we will be working in unit one, lesson number 10. And today we're going to be working on some story problems or word problems. In these problems, we're going to need to read very carefully to decide if we should add or if we should subtract to find the correct answer. These problems are called add to and take from problems. Let's get started. Here is the first problem. It says, the store has eight shirts. They get some more. Now they have 15 shirts. How many did they get? Now, the first thing we want to look for is any numbers in the problem. I have eight and I have 15. Now, it says in the first line that the store has eight shirts. That's how many they had to start with. So let's write down the eight. In the next line, it says they get some more. Now, I know that if I'm getting more of something, I'm going to be adding because I am getting more not taking any away, but receiving some. Now, the other keyword here is the word some. Do we know how many some is yet? No, we don't. So watch what I'm going to do. Instead of writing a number here, because I don't know that number yet, I am going to put a mystery box. Now this mystery box says that I do not know how many more the store got yet. That's why I put it as a box. I need to figure out what number goes there. Now they have 15 shirts. So eight plus something is equal to 15. Now, if I think about this number, if I were to put it on a math mountain, eight plus something, I know if I'm adding them, they are my add-ins, equals 15. That means that 15 is the king of my mountain. So I can't add 15 plus eight because as I remember, 15 is the king of my math mountain. Nobody can be bigger than the king. So I need to use a strategy to figure out eight plus what gives me 15. There are a few ways to figure this out. One way is to subtract. I could start at 15 and count down eight spots. Or I can start at eight and use my counting up strategy. I think I'm going to count up. I'm going to start at eight and keep going. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. How many did I add? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I could also do this using my counting up with my fingers. Since you can't see me right now, you cannot see me use my fingers. That's why I drew these dots. So the store received seven more shirts. Now on our page, we might have a box and a line. If we have one, that means that we need to write our answer in the box. There's our seven. Then we need our label. What was the thing that we were looking at in this problem? In this problem, we were looking at shirts. So we can look back to the problem to make sure that we spell shirts correctly. Let's try another problem. Mrs. Kelly has 15 colorful pens. She gives Mrs. Hansen three of them to use. How many pens does she have left? Okay, let's see what we know. We know that Mrs. Kelly has 15 pens. Let's write 15 down. 
Next, it says she gives Mrs. Hansen three of them to use. Now, I saw a very interesting word in here. Mrs. Kelly gives three of the pens away to Mrs. Hansen. Now, if she's giving them away, do you think that we should add or subtract if you're giving something away? We should subtract because I will have less of them. She gives Mrs. Hansen three of her pens. The question is, how many pens does she have left? That means that we don't know our ending number. We don't know how many she has left. So we need to solve 15 minus 3. Now, since we know both of these numbers, I'm going to count down and I'm going to use my touch points. I'm going to say 15 and count down three spots. 15, 14, 13, 12. I got the answer of 12. Now, if I need to put my answer and a label, what did uh, Mrs. Kelly give away? She gave away her pens. So I look back at the problem to make sure that I spell pens correctly. Look at the third problem. Julie buys 10 gifts. She needs to buy 19 gifts in all. How many gifts does she still need to buy? Now let's think about what we know in this problem. We know that Julie has already bought 10 gifts. But she needs to buy 19. That is her total. So if that's her total, I can put that on a math mountain. She needs 19 total. That means that's my king. She already has 10, but she needs to buy some more. So 10 plus something gives me 19. I'm going to use that counting up strategy. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. How many did I need to move up? I had to go up 9 to get 19. That means that Julie needs to buy 9 gifts. Don't forget to add your label. As a second grade mathematician, we always add a label to our story problems. Let's practice two more story problems today, second grade. There are 21 children at the library. Some children go home. Now there are 14 children at the library. How many children went home? Let's see what we know. We know that there were 21 children at the library. Then it says some children go home. If they're going home, do you think we should add them or subtract them? Let's subtract them. Now it says some. Do you remember what we put if we don't know the number yet? We put our mystery box. We don't know how many some is yet, but we're going to find out. Now there are 14 children at the library. So 21 minus something equals 14. I am going to count down, but I'm going to use that same strategy that I used earlier where I draw those dots. Since you can't see my hands if I'm not on the camera, I'm going to draw dots to show you how I count down. 
So I start with 21. 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Let's count and see how many I went down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I went down seven spots. That means that seven children went home. I looked back into my problem just to make sure that I spelled children correctly. Here is our last practice problem together today, second grade. There are eight dogs at the park. Four more dogs come to the park. How many dogs are at the park now? So when we started, there were eight dogs at the park. Then it says four more dogs come to the park. If there are more dogs coming, I know I'm going to add those four more dogs. I'm looking for my ending number, my total. How many dogs are at the park now? Let's add eight plus four more. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So there are 12 dogs at the park. It's very important that we look at the problem and think about what is happening. Ask yourself, did I get more? and add to, or did I take away? A lot of times I will give something away in a problem. Think about how the problem helps us decide if we should add or subtract and read the problems very carefully.